So this is the player schedule for the combine. Now, when you look at this combine schedule, as it goes from February 28th to March 7th, geez, is it, was, it, was it that long? I felt like it was just a week back then. I mean, this isn't, it's like 10 to, uh, well, you said the 20th. Was it? Actually, no, this, like is, like, this is like, I felt like it was like eight three days. days. <laughs> yeah, I felt like it was like maybe four or five days. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah. I don't think it was a whole week, but I mean, I, I could be wrong. Forgetting a lot of shit. Yeah, so, you know, you register when you get there. Uh, you do pre-exams, orientations, interviews. So all this stuff on this on this little uh, on this little uh, agenda sheet is really it, it looks like it's a straightforward thing, but it's so very slow. It move it moves slow as hell for me when I was yep. when I was at the combine, Agreed. and you know we were both there at the same year. Uh, first off, it's in Indianapolis. That's already kind of like. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We we get here. I mean, I was at you know I was at Purdue, so I was already like oh, there. there. But there I was training life. in Houston. I was training in Houston for eight weeks. Oh, so okay, okay. you know, I was I you know I flew back up, and I was just like, oh god, yeah, I forgot. There's a there was a record snowfall just like a week ago. <laughs> uh, but it uh you know the combine it, it was the first few days were like the longest days ever for me. It was just like. You get ex you you go to do the registration and the pre little like pre exam and the pre exam is like you're at the hospital, everybody's at the hospital, and we're just sitting there, like nobody's really doing anything. Yeah, a lot of hurry up you're and wait. Kind of, you just hurrying up and waiting, and it was crazy because you know I had shoulder surgery when I was in high school, so they wanted to look at that shoulder. They had like a list of things that they wanted to look at. Yep. Uh, while I was at the hospital, they put me in an MRI machine. And I mean, look, this was like back when this was this was 2007. Still in pretty damn good. You know, you're, you're young, young and spry and in good shape. And they put me in this uh, in this this uh, MRI machine and they made me hold my shoulder. Boy, I'm over getting anxious. My head. I'm getting anxious. Just oh, hearing yeah. You talk about Trauma. This. <laughs> Trauma, dude. I ne I mean, you know how like you never know if you're claustrophobic until you're actually like put in a, a very tight space yeah, and just I, asked to I, stay there. I got it. I got it bad. So I'm over Dude, here just getting goosebumps just listening to you talk about it. It's Ugh. the reason why I, I absolutely hate having to go in to do MRIs. Like I would do anything I can not to have to go in and do an MRI Same. because of things like this. They put me in this machine and they made me stay in this machine. And I swear to you, you know, you, you try to play it cool at first. I tried to play it cool. My arm was stuck, and I was like, okay, soon enough, it'll just go numb. I won't feel nothing. And uh, it went numb for a little while. And then, like, it went from being numb to being really painful because it was like the, the uh, they give you, like, the, the earphones to, like, listen to music and stuff. Yep. But one of the ears started, one of the earphones slipped off, <laughs> and they're like, do not move. And I'm just holding there, and I'm starting to sweat. And then my fingers are starting, I'm starting to feel it oh. again. My, oh, my shoulder's starting to hurt. Oh, no. And I'm like, oh, hell, that's just like, loud. That, a point. that machine is loud. loud. As fuck. It's so loud without headphones. I mean, you can hear it through the headphones and music. So I can't imagine what it must have been like when that uh, when that one side slipped off. Oh, my God, dude, it was so loud. And but but the crazy thing was, was that I've reached that breaking point. I got to that breaking point at like, and I, when they had to re go, when they had to go back and redo, they had to redo oh, like part of no. it and they didn't like pull me out for a second. And they just were like, you gotta be real still. And I literally was, I was laying in that thing and I was like, I'm about to snap. I was like in my head, I was like fighting, <laughs> just fighting, like going into a psychotic break. Yes. Because yes. I'd already been in there like an hour and like, I'd already been in there like over an hour. Just oh laying. my god! Yeah, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm about to snap!" Like I, like you, I, I, in my head, I like started to like freak out. I was like, "Oh my god, I can't hold this no more! I can't hold this no more!" Oh, I, I think I got an itch. I think I got an itch. Oh, it's not getting better. It keeps getting worse. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. And you know, at a certain point, I was like, "You know what? I'm about to move a little bit because my, my this itch is so bad." 
I have to like do something. I don't care if I if I fuck up this MRI. Right, right. And I just gotta shift it my waist a little bit. And as soon as I shifted my waist, the lady's like, "You got you got to stop moving." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh God, like, who made but, this damn machine? It's like the worst I machine mean, in all of medicine." The MRI, the MRI machine was made for people who were average human sight and uh, height and size back in 1950. Because yes. there ain't nobody that small. Nobody fits in those things. And then, like, uh, like the the wall is like right here on your right face, right up on your nose. I, I can't, I can't do it. Uh, even with like with sedation, the whole nine, I I cannot get inside of it. That's, it's so bad, dude. Like uh, but, the last um, few times I've had to go get one, I I, I was like, I'm not doing it without an open machine. And that's for real. Not, this thing needs. It ain't much better. It's just like a sandwich. You know, it's yeah. still you're still kind of close to it, but at least you yeah. can see the outside. You know, I don't, it, it, I don't know what it the, ruined me. Is I don't know if it's like, oh man, I need to be able to move in case something happens. I don't know what it is, but it's like you can't. It's like when your joint is like when you're when your shoulder like my shoulder was just stuck over here, also like that, just straight yeah. straight back. And I can't. I mean, we're big guys, so I mean, you probably can't yeah. go in. You can't even go in like this. Like yeah, we're going history. in like at a at an angle. You know what I mean? They push us in at an angle, and we're like halfway in the machine. We're like, oh, that'll work. Just we just need his <laughs> shoulder. Enough. Good <laughs> enough. We just need his shoulder. So, uh, yeah. if but, anyone um, out there has any kind of uh, six degrees connection to like Elon Musk, we need a fucking MRI machine for big people that gets a good yeah. image. Because as soon as you go in the open machine, need- oh, I can't see anything. Oh, tough luck, Doc. I'm not getting in that fucking death tube. For real, we need something for big people. Just, 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 just everything that you make for for regular people, we need to make one one for big people. Yeah, just double the size so of we it. can fit in this shit. Because, anyways, um, sorry, you know, for our tangent. <laughs> those, yeah, I mean, that was a fine. scarring memory, which is fine. It's it's traumatic. We got to go through it again. Um. But the crazy thing about the combine was that for me, like I didn't do any of the drills. I only did the bench. I did the bench and I did a uh, one forty yard sprint, and I and that was that was it. That's all I could do. I ended up pulling my quad muscle oh, yes. on the forty, and I was like, that was like that's it. I was like, I'm I'm done. I just I just couldn't couldn't run no more. Couldn't do nothing. So. <laughs> I didn't do shit. I didn't do the L drill, none of that. Right. So uh it was it was a short one for me. I went straight back to my uh, apartment at Purdue after that. I was like, yeah, I'm out. Uh it was disappointing, but it was also like, ain't nothing I can do about it. Cause you right. know, now that I think now that I look back on it, because look, I didn't get no treatment on that. I just like would well, I got treatment on it, but I didn't like uh do any kind of rehab. Okay. And to this day, sometimes when the weather changes, my quad will just t- get on fire. I think I tore my quad on that 40 yard dash. <laughs> That's what I think really happened. Going too fast, man. Shit. That's what I think. <laughs> I, I, hey, shoot. I was going, hey, the day before I ran a 488, I was like, I got to get that. Ooh, you know shit. how you at the facility I ran a four eight eight, the place where I was working out. Okay, yeah. But yeah, you know, yeah. you're like, okay, that's probably like a step off or something. But I ended yeah. up doing a four nine one and a, five, a four nine one or five one. My bad, five one on my on the forty, and uh, and that was like t- pulling that quad with like five yards to go. Right. I dove through the line because because it just blew out. The tire just went pop. It's like I was riding down two eighty five in Atlanta. <laughs> Shit just went just exploded on me.